Hello, we're the History Hikers. I'm Dries. And I'm Jente. Welcome to the Chateau, the Chateau Neuf on Boutière. Which was owned by the same family as was the Chateau of Rochebon, which was last week's video. Check it out if you haven't already. Let's check this one out. On a hill overlooking the Aireux and Rimond rivers, a mass of stones hover over the surroundings. These are the remains of the castle of Chateauneuf on Boutière. It was built during the 11th century by the lords of Chateauneuf, who established a little powerhouse for themselves in this portion of the Ardèche. As we mentioned, they also owned the castle of Rochebon nearby. Upon scaling the hill, we are first greeted by a statue of Notre Dame de Boutière. It was constructed in 1945 as a thank you after the town was spared bombardment in the war. From her base, we have the best view over the small ruins of the castle. To the north side of the castle stand the remains of a tower, probably the donjon or keep. It is small in size, similar to the castle of Montagu. It does not appear to be large enough to live in, nor are its walls very thick. The south side is protected by a long wall. The crenellation is no longer visible, but maybe the recess in the wall does indicate where the wall walk used to be. The recess is very small, so it might just have been where the second floor of attached buildings used to be. As in Rochebon, Chateauneuf also suffered greatly during the wars of religion. The lords of Chateauneuf gradually abandoned this location when they gained new holdings in the Beaujolais during the 17th century. Around the year 1870, Chateauneuf was demolished to build a church and other buildings in town. What used to be one of the key strongholds in the region has fallen on hard times. We are glad to hear, however, that consolidation works are underway to strengthen the existing ruin and keep it standing proud for future generations to discover. It is the outside of the wall that holds the most interesting detail in this castle. There is a fascinating vault over a small gap in the rock, which carries the wall above. It's important to remember that the original ground level used to be lower, so the size of this vault is at least 2 meters wide. It is similar to what we saw in Rochebon and goes to show that small unknown ruins sometimes hide interesting secrets and details. Not a big one sadly, let's continue on with the arbitrary subjective castle score. I'm gonna say a 4.5 cool little arch holding up this wall here. What do you think? I'd say four. I had a tumble. I hurt myself. I do not like this castle. Oops. Leave your score in the comments. We were the History Hikers. Like, comment, subscribe and all the good YouTube stuff if you want to see more of these kind of castles. And we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.